Hello. <laughs> you don't come in as Sister Kruger in these uh, uh, <laughs> meetings. <laughs> I made sure. <laughs> <laughs> Peter will be very happy. Peter Roberts will be very happy because he has asked me very nicely over um, a few years yes. to, to add my family on here. So yes. Yes. I didn't now he'll it. want you to add your DNA confirmations and all that as well. Sure. <laughs> I do need to do that, especially because the mitochondrial was only on my EKA and it should have been all the way along. Right. Yeah. And she might not be my EKA now. I haven't looked. Oh. If anybody found her family. Oh, going further back. Yeah. yeah. More E, EKA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New updated <laughs> one. <laughs> there is one, um, the McKellar line. It, it's quite interesting. Uh, I have a McKellar marrying a McKellar. Okay. And I am part of the McKellar surname study. And this, the guy that's been doing the surname study has been doing it for 35 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing what he has. And I shared with him my uh, DNA from Ancestry. And, and so he had that and he has the majority of the people organized into two DNA areas based on the whys. Mm -hmm. And it was cool because when he put me in, he goes, you're this. And I'm going, yes, that matches my paper trail. <laughs> so Excellent. Cool. Yes. Argyle Shire in Scotland. Okay, great. A year or so ago in Ancestry, somebody added parents for the Mr. McKellar who married a Miss McKellar. Mm -hmm. And I said, look, they've got this. And he goes, no. <laughs> 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 okay. He oh. said, this, these parents are a different DNA than this guy, than you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can't be the same. And they can't be the same. He said, also look at the years. And mm. the years aren't correct for the son. There is a Daniel McKellar that is born to Daniel and Mary, but it's not my Daniel McKellar. Well, that's so, those are pretty common names. It, it wouldn't be surprising for a, a Daniel to be born of a Daniel and Mary. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Yeah. Very, very Scottish. But it was really cool because I had messaged the people on Ancestry and said, Where's your source? Hey, I want to see this. You know, mm -hmm. this is exciting. Uh, and, and then I never heard back. Um, and then I had to say, sorry, I think they ignored <laughs> that one too. <laughs> <laughs> they ignored the first one. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but somebody also added that in here in WikiTree. Uh -huh. So I put a note in the bottom and said, no. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it saved me because he'd done this surname study and had everything so well organized. When I mentioned this, he looked and he goes, no, yeah. that family's DNA isn't yours. He knew the right where to go to look and all that. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. Amazing. amazing. I love that. So. We're still seventh cousins once removed, Leanne. <laughs> I think that's going to be the final resting place of our. <laughs> Better than nothing. Better, Leanne, well. we're still, we're not cousins at all still. So. Oh, really? <laughs> no, My yeah. U.S. line was Bigelow, Massachusetts, 1600. And they, they never mm. went farther south. Never went farther south. What yeah. are you calling me? Southern? Southern. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's closer than the ninth cousin that it was. And most people who are have some Quebec roots, it's ninth or ninth cousin once removed or something. So that means we're pretty close, relatively speaking. Yes. Yeah. That's um that's an uh pun 
It was. I was going to put the Very quotes. Funny. <laughs> What's that? Relatively speaking. <laughs> I didn't even mean it. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> okay, it says that I'm your 23rd cousin three times removed and that we go back to Alex Pussy de Gin uh, and Hugh Le Signon de la Marche. In France. But this is, yeah, the, I, oh, I got to look and see how that, that works. Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Holy goodness gracious. I am related to uh, King John and King Richard the Lionhearted. Um, I'm, my French line goes back to their half-sister. Eleanor's, one of Eleanor's daughters from her first marriage. So it might be through there. Mm -hmm. Um, my mine didn't move either. Oh, Elizabeth yeah. Berg, Queen's consort of Scotland. Yeah, I was expecting somebody would work on the mass of the uh, Massachusetts stuff and maybe connect there, but uh, we're, I'm still sitting at twenty one degrees. <laughs> it's really interesting. I didn't move we, all week. You we didn't had, move all uh, week, eh, Donald? Oh. Nope. We had 35 participants that took part, and uh, it is interesting looking through this connections page to see oh. the changes that happened. Um, so, like with Sean Boyle, you can see his connection when he when we started out the week was at 24 degrees. It dropped down to 20. But then it went back up to 22. So there are some changes going on there. That That's weird. <laughs> some pruning. That's Somebody corrected the wrong link. Yeah. Uh, but then so we the, have. They overcorrected, then they recorrected it. <laughs> Who knows? We have Aaron Breen that went from 22 to 16. So that's Ooh. great. Hey, I'm glad Aaron's working on this because she's so Canadian and she's out there. Isn't she in, in Alberta? Or is Ooh, she in Vancouver? Aaron yeah. Breen. Yeah. I don't know. She's Canadian. Do, 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 do. Hmm. And then we have uh, Jean Guy Sire. Sire. Jean Guy. Uh, he, yeah. Mm -hmm. Three. Yeah. Jean Guy mm -hmm. went down three degrees from 20 to 17. Mm -hmm. Michelle dropped four degrees. Lots of degrees were dropped for different mm -hmm. ones. So that's really exciting. Because of all those siblings being added. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. W.M. Harms, another one. Uh, Heather Jenkinson. Oh, here's another one. Oh, Owen's yeah. <laughs> connection went from 22 to 18 and then back up to 22. So there was a probably correction that was made. Uh, <laughs> it affects like somebody, a beaver <laughs> took a bite out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Very Canadian, Max. Mm -hmm, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Nice. Keeping on, keeping on topic here. And Michelle went down five degrees, but mm -hmm. for the most part, I think it's you know two to four mm -hmm. degrees was dropped. I know that um, our connection dropped. Uh, I was your eleventh cousin one times removed, and now I'm your ninth cousin. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yeah. There you are. Oh. There I am. So it yeah. dropped five degrees. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. And Richard Rosenberger and Elizabeth Schaefer. I must have missed my name going by. Did it... It's because you weren't signed up at the start. At the very I, beginning. Oh. I got you tagged on. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> the Fortier line was very good. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And what a story. Yeah, I knew that story. I didn't know the other the other girl. I knew about this boy. I was confused and I just laughed at. But yeah, I knew about his life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I know I didn't help anybody connect because I didn't connect to anyone. <laughs> I, I, I spent the week adding people in Denmark. 
Oh. Did you see my note at the bottom? I, I took care of those. Of Carl's? Oh, yeah. yeah, because I, they I did, me. well, excuse me, I did connect to a, a unconnected tree of about 12 to 15 people that hadn't been touched since 2014. Ooh. So That's they are cool. now connected to the main tree, but I didn't add any other connections. They're not, I, I don't think we've got a lot of profiles in uh, Denmark. Denmark. And the Danes didn't immigrate like the uh, Swedes and the Norwegians did. So, so there's not not big. There's an, there's not as much across the pond stuff. Mm -hmm. Although I did I did add a few people in Kansas. I found a few. <laughs> okay. What are the records like in in Denmark? Um. Not as good as Sweden, but then no. who's this? Uh, <laughs> they, they, and I, I didn't, I didn't take the time to to start to understand the uh, the archives. You know, they they've got the you know, like all the Scandinavian countries have very extensive uh, church records, mm -hmm. and uh, and which are now in you know free public archives, but. Uh, you know, you've got to figure out how it's set up and whatnot, and I hadn't done it. Mm -hmm. You know, I when, when I connected with these people in Denmark, the step family, the the yeah. um, they sent me this pedigree chart, family groups for five generation that they have. That's basically you know from their Bible, and it's amazing. And that's how I have all that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. I hope it helps but, other people. Well, we've got one, we've got a few more connections in the uh, mostly in the Copenhagen area. Well, that's where they're from. Yeah, so, so uh, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, I the the score sheet said I added sixty eight. I thought it was more than that, but anyway, <laughs> like I said, most of that was Denmark. Well, you might have. Uh, I found myself out further than the seven seven okay. degrees the, out the, too. So <laughs> the score sheet is only the first seven degrees. Is that yeah? Okay, yep. I I kind of figured that. Yeah, but everybody did a great job. It was it was great watching all the collaboration happening in Discord. You know, um, just back and forth. Hey, can you guys take this and? Mm -hmm. I'll take that, you know, <laughs> hey, look at this, you know, and then we have uh, different ones like Ann Browning was uh, looking up records on Scotland's people for us and actually pulling the, the images so that we could, you know, because Scotland's people just has kind of a brief uh, synopsis of what's on the record and yes. actually viewing the image is very helpful. So um, she she pulled a lot of records for us, so that was great. That's me. That's <laughs> you. Thank it? you so much, everybody. Well, I always think you need to look at the images because there's information on them that isn't on the transcriptions quite often. Yeah. So, so an image I always look. Yeah. Always, no matter where you're researching, you always go to the always source. Always look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so many times that the record, the transcription record is so off on even like the place name or something is yes. like totally different from what's actually on the document. So, yeah. Ancestry and family search transcriptions are dreadful. <laughs> I spent all of my life correcting them. <laughs> yeah, but the Scotland's people ones are pretty accurate generally, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, there are. They are. People's ones that seem quite good, and you've got the mother's maiden name, which helps. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the death records are great. If you can actually view the image, it has so much more information, like the informant and the parents' names and even their occupations. And so, just mm -hmm. so great. Yeah. Love it. And it was also good, Anne, that you got the, the um, clarification about the copyright. And actually being able to use the images. Yeah. 
in so our reveal. Nice. Well, I thought that's as well because it's nice to see the images, but I wasn't mm -hmm. sure about the copyright bit. Mm -hmm. But the Scotland's people, the people on their desk or their help desk, are phenomenal. Yeah, very quick and very efficient and nice. So they sent through lots of info. Amazing site. So I'm over a thousand. Right. I don't think I yes. should. Yeah, I mean, you I have your I... a thousand CC7 badge. <laughs> a thousand <laughs> connections. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay. Woo, woo. And I should say that the Dobby line or the Dobby line or whatever you want to call them ought to be get backable to at least 1600 because they were quite well known weaving family in Glasgow. Mm -hmm. So I Which, found records that mentioned them. It's up the Sanderson. Back. Sanderson's? Uh -huh, yeah. At that, at that line. Sanderson was a mason. John Sanderson. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at your connections. That's, it's just incredible. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at her CC7 stuff. Oh, I just feel kind of guilty. I'm because I didn't do it, but I'm really glad everybody else did because it'll help so many others. So oh yeah. Oh, so many more so many more places for others to connect into the tree now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's one in here. The, the Denmark one. Yeah. Why would one be private that's like a fifth fifth degree? Oh, okay, got it. Never if, mind. If it comes back down. Right? Yep. Gotcha. I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you for answering me. So Leanne, are you going to brag about this everywhere? Yeah. Okay. I hear you. I, I hear you have a blog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Greg, you should show show her the what you the photo lines. Oh, the photo lines. Because yep, now it's sure. so that. Uh, she can see the she can grab that and right. grab the um for her blog. That's right. He doesn't know about that yet. <laughs> well, I don't know about her blog, but I do know about photo lines. Um, I just I just added it to mine. Um so Greg <laughs> did this. Um is it showing you this? You can you can post this on like, so this is my mitochondrial from me back mm. to my earliest known mitochondrial ancestor. And we don't know her last name. Cool, eh? And I can make it show first names and last names. Um, so all the way up to me. And birth dates as well, if you wish. Cool, yes. And yeah. And then um, you can also do the paternal line too, which is really cool. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. Or the combo line, which is you line. in the middle and your parent, your mother's line going one direction, your father's line going the other. I want to put that on my personal profile. I have that up on my earliest mitochondrial ancestors. Yeah. That's awesome. So if you want a better picture of yourself, you need to load a better profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> but I just updated the app today. So you can actually pick any picture that's tagged to you or your Oh, ancestors. nice. Nice. So we, we should give her a link to that. Yeah, Please. let me just do, I can do that so, right now. Okay, so now I have a new challenge for you. How about um, a pictures, names of everybody that would be your ex-DNA? <laughs> uh, oh. Well, you can see that in the fan chart. <laughs> yeah, you can see that very easily. Uh, actually, go to your um, wiki tree. Um, page what do you call it profile page yeah, yeah go, to your, go to your go to your profile to... page and yeah, just go for it, it. Go for it share? yeah share. just top three please somebody who's competent do that <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know if i qualify or not but i will try <laughs> okay are you seeing leanne's profile yeah. yep yeah okay i'm gonna zoom in a bit so it's a little bigger so when you click on tree apps 
um, it will load up. Now, if it doesn't load up fan chart for you, um, because that was the most recent one I used, it load automatically. It might choose one of these other ones, but you just right. have to grab fan chart from the drop down, hit go, and then it'll fill out. <coughs> and so there's your fan chart. And <coughs> if you go into the settings gear right here, one of the options is to highlight <gasps> and I'm going to highlight it based on X chromosome inheritance. Oh, very good. And then when I hit save, Phew. there you go. Nice. There's all. I thought I was giving you a challenge, something new yeah. to do. Now, there's an interesting, there's a mistake here. Well, actually, it's not a mistake. Well, it, it kind of is a mistake. Maybe it's not a mistake. Um, I'm wondering if because you're a living person, if I if the app knows because if you logged in, it'll know that you're female. But because you're a living person, it I when I'm logged in, I may not know. The app may not be telling me because you should have Rocky should be no, highlighted here, right? Yeah. Because you get you get X chromosome from your father. Yeah. 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 From your father's but, mother, which it is showing up, but it's just showing up in an odd color. No, it should. This should be high. This should be yellow. Oh, yellow. Highlighting you. That should be yellow. Yeah, like if I put my mother in. Uh, you invite. See now you know you have but, a. Yeah, it might be because Rocky's oh, private. Yeah, there's something going on. Uh -oh, it might be second. because Rocky's private. So yeah, it's that's not probably because him. of the privacy am I, am level. I, am I right in that? That it's probably that. Women. Women get an X from their father's yeah. mother too. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. So we mother, get it right? from our father, and our father gets it from their mother. So yeah. 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 So Joseph should be highlighted here. Yeah. This and is, Marie. But what's his Not privacy level? Well, they're they're both no, passed probably, away. Yeah, just, it's probably a little sure. bug. No, Rock, oh, Rocky. Oh, no, there, uh, it is. Is, oh, there it is. Rocky is restricted. There we go. Oh, Rocky yeah. restricted. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that yeah, makes yeah. Sense. it's privacy level. Okay, so there's my grandmother who's long cut. Well, not long cut, but there. So that's. And you can, you can play with the colors too, Leanne, so that you turn off all the other colors. So it's just the yes. highlight that's showing so that it's very obvious. Um, here we go. There go. I I'm like doing wait, that. Because I've got to, I've got to go to dog agility. Got to oh, go to okay. what? What? Dog agility. <laughs> dog agility. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Anne. Bye. Nice to have you, Anne. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. You're welcome. Yeah, well, I do it this way when I show it in conferences and stuff, because Greg, Greg doesn't know this, but subliminally, he created all of this stuff so I could grab it to, to put into presentations. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, You've been trading right. him. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Make me a photo line. <laughs> Yeah, that's Make right. Make me an X fan chart. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to <laughs> oh, come on, Greg. three one five four four one five three. What's what's your your last four digit? What's your digits? Three five two one. Three five two one. And no, I don't have that memorized. Oh, no, it was on the screen. Nope. Ah! nope. Oh, it it's Ian. It's Ian. There you go. Yes. I'm yes. Danish. <laughs> Danish. Oh. Danish. There it came up. Oh. Julie's home. There's oh, my looking that way on both sides. He's deserting me for the possibility of getting food from Julie instead. <laughs> yeah, see that worked now. You know, oh, it's yeah. interesting. My father Actually. was born Oliver Leo Paul Sorensen. Oliver yet, Leo Paul. Sorensen, yeah. And yet Catholic? he went by Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> Where? Where do you get that? Oh, he got as a teenager. Yeah. He didn't know where Oliver came from until I did his the genealogy. Uh -huh. See, if you look at the first white on the left there, uh -huh. his great grandfather. This here. Uh, no, Oliver's up at the right above Alexander. Oh, there's an Oliver. Oliver. That's oh. where he's, who he's named after. But he didn't ever know that until. Um, ah, Geneviève de Bascon. 
I, that's a, a hometown of, of a bunch of my relatives. No wonder we're closer related. Yeah. And then the Saint, the next paragraph, I have mm -hmm. lots in that area. Stanislaus. Stanislaus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to go to the church right there. Oh, neat. When I was in Quebec with one of our daughters on their mm -hmm. French immersion trip. Very cool. Awesome. All Very right. Cool. Well, neat. this was thank great. You. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, everybody. Oh, you're welcome. And Thanks come back everybody. for the, everybody come back for the, tune in to the reveal that we're going to do Wednesday, um, next Wednesday at noon, at noon on YouTube. Yeah. So Thank you for I'll letting that in here. I will, because Guillaume is, the, I don't know if you have, a, you've had a chance to check out any of the profiles that have ha gone on this week, Leanne, but Guillaume did some amazing ones for the Fortier boys who fought in World War One. Oh, very nice. good. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So I'm thinking that that's something that we should profile on the on the reveal. Yeah, if Guillaume, if anybody wants to join, just let me know and I'll mm -hmm. get you the to the link so you can be in the stream yard with us for the YouTube reveal. Um, because we love to hear from the participants mm -hmm. about what they did. Um mm -hmm. so yes. yes. All right. Okay. Yay. Congrats, Leanne. <laughs> Thanks again, for everybody, for coming by. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your ancestors with us. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Yes. Yes. What amazing service <laughs> that people do for others. Yeah. 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 Great, cool. great group. Yeah. All right. We'll see you all around. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.